Hey everybody, today I'm going to smoke a five pound chub of bologna. And when you smoke bologna, it just, it takes on the flavor that you season it with, but it just takes bologna to a whole new uh, level of goodness. We love bologna here. So uh, I just want to show you how we do it. And I want to say that um, smoking uh, or buying a smoker is really not that expensive or hard to use. The smoker I got, I got on Amazon and it has three shelves in it and it's fairly small and um, it costs about $110. And it's just very simple to use. And uh, you can smoke anything in it, deviled eggs, meatloaf, even salt. And smoked salt is so, so good. So uh, you might wanna think about getting a smoker sometime. Uh, they're a lot of fun to use and figure out different things to put in it. I've had mine well over a year and uh, we just really enjoy it. And so anyway, I'll put the camera down and we'll uh, start getting our bologna ready to uh, smoke. So this, I gotta move my book. This is the five pound chub of Smithfield bologna. And I have to take the wrapper off of it, of course. And we will never eat this much bologna in, uh, you know, in time, I guess you would say before it would go bad. But I have children and family that will love to have some of it. So we're gonna take the first wrapper off and then we're gonna take off this outer wrapper. And I'm just gonna Put it in this um, in this while we uh, season it, and when I take it out there. Uh, but I'm going to put this directly on the rack. So I'm making fairly deep cuts in it because I want the flavors and all to go deep into the bologna. So I would say. I'm going at least an inch to an inch and a half deep scoring this. And it's kind of hard to see where I've been. Okay, I've been all the way around it. And now, I'm gonna go this way. And this bologna is very easy to cut. As you know, bologna is not, not hard to cut. It's 
a little bit hard to handle though. Do this one and one more and we ought to have it all scored. Sorry this is taking so long. All right, we're on our last one. Okay. Now that we have that done, I'm gonna rinse my hands real quick. And then I'm gonna take a little bowl and in it, I'm gonna put some brown sugar and I'm not measuring, I'll tell you, the amount that I think I'm putting in. And that's probably a cup, at least. And then mustard not sure if y'all saw that was brown sugar and here's mustard and i'm gonna put that's probably about five tablespoons then here's soy sauce i'm gonna put about two tablespoons and Worcester shower about two tablespoons and I'm gonna go ahead this is the barbecue rub I made the other day when I made the different rubs I'm gonna go ahead and get it open and I tell you this is some good barbecue rub right here we really have enjoyed that. I started to do it with my right hand, but as you see, I have some Band-Aids. So I'm just gonna mix this up with my left hand and get it good and mixed up. Pour it on the bologna. try to get it on the ends and there's some left and um, what I have left in here I'm gonna pour back in here and a couple times during the cooking process I'm gonna go just pour some of this over the bologna but now I want to use the rib rub I don't know if you can see it or not. I wanna use the rib rub and get that uh, all over. Just get that rubbed in real good. Yeah. 
and so that is it now i'm going to take it out to the smoker um i'm not going to take it out there because it would be hard to try to carry this and do the camera and all but we've got it all fixed up i'm going to cook it at 275 for about three hours but every hour i'm going to go out and um see how it's doing put so I'll put some of this um, sauce on it that I have left and um, just make sure everything's okay with it. So after about three hours, I'll be back and show you what we have. Hey y'all, the bologna has finished smoking. It looks really, really good. Got a nice smoke ring on it. I'm going to show it to you and then... I'm going to show you how we go ahead and finish up and make a good bologna sandwich. So I'm going to bring this down and I'm letting this pan heat. This broke apart, but here's what it looks like. And I don't know if you can see or not around the edges here that there's a nice smoke ring all around the edges. There's plenty of flavor there. So, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get you where you can see very well while I cut it, but um, I'll just use this smaller one here and cut a nice piece that I'll give Randy. And I've got that pretty thick in some areas, as a matter of fact, too thick. I'll go ahead and cut my piece too while that's cooking. And I've got mine a little too thick on that side too, but it's okay. So what we're wanting to do is um, just um, sear the bologna where it's not got the seat <clears throat> excuse me the seasonings and all and this is randy's i'm gonna turn that down a little bit this is randy's bread and he likes ketchup and mustard i like mustard and mayonnaise So there is his ketchup. Now let me give this a turn. And I'd let that sear a little bit too much, wouldn't you say? But he loves burned hot dogs, and this is kind of like hot dogs, so hopefully he'll like that. And if not, I can just cut it off, or I can just get him a whole new piece. So let me see. I think that's good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and stick my piece in. So, here is what it looks like, nice and burned. 
and a little piece broke off. So I'm just going to try this little piece here and see what it tastes like. I'm going to tell you, I'm not a fan of the burn part, but the seasoning and all is really, really good. That is a great um, combination of seasoning to go on it. And so, uh, my son-in-law wants some. He's already did that, but he's basically the only one that knows I cook this, so I'm going to give him some to make sandwiches to take to work, and if I can get a hold of Randy, I think he's in the garage, I'll give him his sandwich, and I know that that is a little big. But anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope that you can, uh, that you have a smoker or know someone that does that you can give this a try. Take care. Bless y'all. Do something kind for yourself and someone else. You're very special and loved. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.